The city of Austin is trying something new to make the live music capital of the world even more music friendly. The city's economic development department plans to pay street musicians to perform. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell is live to explain why some performers have reservations. Well, this is where the city is promising to pay musical performers $150 every time they play. Uh, we're at the Seaholm District. It would be in and around here. And city leaders say that these performers aren't always free to play anywhere they want in the city because sometimes they get cited under panhandling ordinances. So allowing them to play here would give them a safer space. Walk through this part of downtown and you won't hear much live music, if any. It's like, you know, hit or miss. Um, at random parts of the um, of the city. The crowds are here, but people say the western edge of downtown is missing the feature that makes Austin what it is. It's kind of essential, honestly, to a place that considers itself the live music capital of the world. It really kind of adds to that authenticity, the, to that aesthetic. Over. Head east, and you'll find that. David Quick is one of many who perform on 6th Street. Sometimes I'll play anywhere up to like 12 hours a day. It's not always a steady paycheck. The least I've made an entire night was four. The most I've made an entire night here was um, 290. He admits the city's offer. $150 per hour is a dang fine rate as a musician. Is alluring. He might take them up on it, but he's worried about the motives behind the pilot program. The developer behind the Seaholm district gave the city $150,000 to fund the program. And then it's an instant tourist attraction. It's making an amusement park. For that reason, Quick Fill's drawing artists in by making it easier to play in one area of town than another is squelching their rights to perform. And if you don't stand up for the freedoms that you have, you, you, you're not going to have them. So. Well, the city's economic development department insists that this pilot program is aimed at help, helping to support musicians and also busking. Uh, they say if there's any opportunity in the future, given the funding, they'd also like to expand this type of program to other parts of town. This pilot is set to begin in March and it'll run through September. Live in Austin, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News.